Hi, this is Michelle Getzinger, and I'm here to explain a couple commonly heard real estate terms that you're gonna hear throughout your transaction, whether you're being on the buy side or the sell side. The first one I'd like to tell you a little bit about is the as is condition. Um, a lot of times you will hear this term, this property is being sold as is. What that means is that the seller is not willing to or not able to make repairs um, prior to the sale or during the sale. Um, to get the property to the end of the transaction to the closing. Now, it doesn't always mean that they can't. It just means at that time they are not willing or wanting to make any um, adjustments. You'll see that a lot of times in estates because in an estate, the executor or executrix, um, the person that's in charge of the estate or the power of attorney, the POA, those are other terms that you're going to hear, don't have the money in their pocket to make repairs for the estate. So a lot of times at the appraisal point, the loan is going to make some requirements. They're gonna ask for peeling paint to be removed and um, handrails to be put in. These are some examples, or if there's some major issues, the, uh, the bank isn't just gonna lend the money to somebody if there's major mechanical problems with the home. So that's when the as is condition doesn't really apply. Um, it needs to be negotiated at that point of who's gonna be able to make those repairs for the loan prior to the closing. And sometimes the estate needs to give a credit so the buyer can have them made. Um, sometimes there needs to be money that's escrowed into an account that another like third party, like a plumber can come in and make the repairs after the closing, and then that gets taken out of the estate's kitty, um, their, their proceeds in the end. So the whole term as an as-is condition is kind of a unicorn. The only time that it really truly works is if the buyer is buying the house with cash, waives inspections, and then says, I'm taking the property as an as-is condition. Um, in that case, there's no appraisal or bank involved and the buyer takes all responsibility for anything that the house should have problems with wise, um, you know, after closing. I hope that this helps explain what the term as is actually means. <laughs> Why it's had enough of that. <laughs> and I hope that that helps explain what the as is condition means. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like this episode and it was informative. Please like and subscribe or leave any comments below with any questions and I'd love to help. Have a great day.